Allegheny County District Attorney Stephen Zapala met with U.S. Attorney Scott Brady today to discuss a fight involving members of a motorcycle club and undercover police officers. It happened at a bar on the south side. Andy Sheehan has more. The video is disturbing to watch. Frank DeLuca, a member of the Pagan Motorcycle Gang, is pinned against the bar, while an unidentified undercover officer repeatedly punches him in the head. After his hair was being pulled back and his neck was being pinched over 23 times in the face and head. After the undercover officers and Pagan's brawl in the video, DeLuca and three other members of the gang are charged with aggravated assault, conspiracy and riot. But their defense attorneys say it is the undercover police who should be charged, saying the officers were drunk, brandished firearms, and provoked the entire confrontation. The uh, main aggressor in the incident is seen drinking uh, a fifth and a half of Jack Daniels in shots over the course of four or five hours. The case against the Pagans was postponed yesterday, while District Attorney Stephen Zapala further investigates the incident. Today, he met with U.S. Attorney Scott Brady about a possible federal probe, but neither the D.A. nor the U.S. Attorney will comment. For its part, the City Public Safety Department has turned the investigation over to OMI, its Office of Municipal Investigation, and offered this statement, quote, This is an ongoing investigation. To maintain the integrity of the investigation, we cannot comment on specifics other than to say that all incidents involving use of force are reviewed. Investigators are reviewing all video that documented this incident, and the incident has been referred to OMI for further review. At a minimum, the defense attorneys argue that charges against their be dropped and that prosecutors should turn their focus on the actions of the officers. The incident left DeLuca's face bloodied and swollen and his elbow dislocated. We just are looking forward to our day in court and we're looking forward to the public to understand um, that police officers aren't above the law. All sides are due back here in two weeks, but it's not at all clear that the charges against the pagans will stick and that the focus may very well shift to the actions of the police. Reporting downtown, Andy Sheehan, KDKA TV News.